Okay, I'm here in Times Square with my friend Romina, who is from Argentina, and I'm going to speak with her in five minutes. We're going to interview her in English. Okay. Romina, um, tell me a bit about where you're from in Argentina. Um, I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. I live in a little um, suburb called La Lucila, which is northern from capital city. Uh -huh. And um, I live alone. Uh -huh. And I have three fish. You have three fish. I do. <laughs> did you Did you grow up in Buenos Aires? Yes, I I um, I lived all my life except for one year in in the same surroundings, like in the same suburbs, okay, like same on the northern part area. of Buenos Aires, okay. yes. And what are you doing in Argentina currently in terms of work? I work for an American company doing clinical research, the data management part of clinical research uh -huh. for a big uh, pharmaceutical. Right. And obviously you speak English fluently. How did you how did you learn English and for how long have you been able to speak like this? I went to bilingual school, so I've From what age? learned since I was three. Like I went to like wow. pre K uh, bilingual school, so I've been learning all my life, and I think I, it's um, it's fair to say that I'm still learning. Yeah, I mean it's uh, I mean it's a lifelong process, but you know, your level is very high. Do you um, was it a private school that you went to? Yes, that's a private school I went to. I also when I changed schools, I still took classes, and mostly I. I believe that maybe 90% of my life occurs in English. Because of my job, because of the shows I choose in TV, right. because I do musical comedy after after work and that's in, in English. English. Right. And um, I also travel, or try to travel a lot to right. the US mainly because my brother is here. Right, and what about your friends in Argentina? Do you speak with them in English? Do you have many English speaking friends? Or? Yeah, most of my friends. Most of my friends are really fluent in English right. because they're basically from my same school or work for the same company I do. So it's a it's a you know a must that you should be fluent. Right. And um, how many times have you visited the U.S.? Like a lot. More than ten. More than ten. What's the yes. longest that you've stayed here before? In the U.S. Yeah. Um, maybe three weeks three weeks but I lived in the UK for a year oh okay when was that that was 2004 wow well that makes a huge difference was your did you did you notice that your English improved a lot during that one year um yes yeah I already knew English and anyway so, so it just enhanced so it. I yes I maybe I got some more phrases or phrasal verbs or right, right. like um, vocabulary and slang right basically what would you say in terms of like people in Buenos Aires or Argentina in general what would you say is the level of English I mean that people have is it high low it is it is really difficult to assess in like overall because right. I know there's people who don't know anything and don't really care about yeah. knowing anything yeah. and there's people like me that try to improve it like every single day yeah. and have jobs and and things that makes makes uh, them try harder every time. Right, right. So, from the people I know, I would say probably upper intermediate to proficient. Yeah. But overall, I'm not really that sure because I met a lot of um, foreigners that are like in Buenos Aires, and they say nobody speaks English. And I was like, right. well, everybody I know does. Yeah, so. you have to seek people out. Exactly. And when you visit your brother here, do you speak to him in Spanish or in English? Um, it depends. If I'm with him alone, maybe Spanish. But yeah. because my sister-in-law is not fluent in Spanish, and I have a nephew. Uh huh. Um, I usually do it in English so everybody understands what's going on. Right, right. I, I don't like to be rude. Right. Tell me something that you prefer about uh, uh, Buenos Aires over New York. From Buenos Aires, yeah. as opposed to New York, yeah, well, something probably better there. nothing. Nothing? <laughs> there must be something. Well, probably my, my friends are there. Okay. What's so, something that you, is my better? My family is there. Okay. What's but, something that you like in New York that's better? Transportation. Transportation. Um, the availability of shows. Um, everything works here. Right. It's a very functional city. Yes. Yes. It's much more secure. I mean, right. insecurity in Buenos Aires is a, like 
violence and, and crime is really high right now. So here, I honestly feel safe. You feel like safe. The, at least the places that I go, I feel really so as, safe. As, as we're just talking about like uh, safety, and someone starts screaming. Anyway, that's New York. At least she didn't hit her. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. that was really scary. <laughs> it was uh, that was karma. No, but anyway, um, my last question is for people that are learning English. What's a piece of advice you can give? Practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Absolutely. All the time, like you, every opportunity you have, you gotta take advantage of it. I can't stress this enough. And I can give an example. I took an Italian course and I passed all the courses. My dad is Italian. I should know a lot more than I do. But I don't practice as much as I practice English. So honestly, I think I have forgotten everything. It's there somewhere, but I cannot make it, I cannot elicit it if I don't practice. Gotcha. English, I practice every day and I'm getting better every single day. So practice. practice. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's been a pleasure.